This video will show how to create tests for a Spring Boot application with JPA that interacts with the database. With the help of Test Containers and JPA Buddy, it'll only take us a couple of minutes. Let's create a stock management application with Spring Boot, Spring Data JPA, and PostgreSQL. The application data model consists of two entities, product and product type. Product refers to product type as many to one. In the application, we'll implement business logic for getting the amount of the product of a particular type. First, we should create the entities. We'll use JPA Buddy to create the domain model very quickly. Click on the plus button in the JPA structure panel and select Entity. Define name, package, and ID type. Then, let's add a name attribute of the string type. Then add the many-to-one relation between the product and new entity product type. And for the product type entity, let's add the name attribute. We'll change the fetch type from eager to lazy to avoid performance problems. Now we need a Spring Data JPA repository to fetch the data. Let's create it and add a method to count products by their type name. It's time to create a stock management service with one method that calculates the number of products of a particular type. It'll just invoke the repository. The data model and business logic are ready. Now we'll write a test that checks if the service method returns the correct value. First of all, we need to prepare everything for creating a test. We're going to use JUnit5 and test containers for our PostgreSQL database. Let's add proper dependencies. There's already a test class in the project marked as Spring Boot Test. We'll need to use a separate properties file to configure our PostgreSQL database provided by test containers and several properties for better debugging. Now we need to initialize our database, create the schema for JPA entities, and insert some data. Let's start with the schema. We could set the DDL auto property to create drop. However, this solution is far from ideal and very limited. First of all, you cannot control what types will be generated for your columns, and these may differ from what you have in the production environment. Secondly, this solution will not work if you use non-standard mapping types with Hibernate types or JPA converters. Finally, you need to generate other database objects like triggers or views for your test, which will obviously not be possible. Still, using the validate option is a good idea as Hibernate will check if your model is compatible with tables in the database. Spring Boot provides us with another way to define the database schema. We can create the schema.sql file in the standard root class path locations and it'll be used to initialize the database. Also, we need to set the Spring SQL init mode property to always to tell the application to trigger this script. Now we need to write a proper DDL script to initialize the database. With the help of JPA Buddy, it can be managed in a couple of clicks. Next, we need to add some common data that we'll need for testing. For that purpose, we can create a data.sql file right next to the one we made for schema definition. Usually, it's data that we need to be used in test-specific records. JPA Buddy helps us here as well. We use UUID type for IDs, and the plugin generates them for us. Now everything is prepared, so we can proceed to create actual tests. Usually, we use the same environment for many tests, so we can simply share this environment for other tests next time. 
Now we need to create test data only for this particular test and clean it up after execution to avoid interference with other tests. To do this, we can use SQL annotation. Let's create an SQL script with the data we're going to use in this test. This script should be executed before the test method gets invoked. JPA Buddy makes it easy to fill up rows to be inserted. Now we need to clean up everything we created for this test, as well as data generated by the test. We don't produce additional records, so let's delete the ones we just inserted. This script should be invoked right after our test is finished. Finally, let's code our test. We need our service for this test, so let's inject it into our test class. There should be three records of the perfume type in our stock. Here we go. We can run the test and see that it works correctly. Thank you for your attention. I hope this video will help. Use Test Containers and JPA Buddy to generate tests for Spring Boot applications with JPA easier.